When you edit videos, you will often want to add image overlays on top of it. And in pretty much any video editing program, when you drag and drop an image into it, it will stretch to fit the entire screen. The thing is, uh, we often don't want that. Unless the image is the same size as, as the screen, we don't really want it to stretch. And Power Sequencer adds a feature to quickly resize the image and make it transparent. So when you import everything, you will need to do one thing. For example, if I use the import function, we need to drag the time cursor over all the pictures, like so. Uh, the reason is Blender doesn't really load the images until they have had to be rendered on the screen. Once you've done that, select them all, and we're going to use the uh, PS dot add uh, transform effect option, or you can press the T key to instantly center the pivot on the images, make them transparent, and resize them so they keep their original size related to the total render size. If you have an add-on like the VSE transform tool, you can then select the transform strip and use G, R, and S to respectively grab, rotate, and scale the image strip on top of your video. At the moment, uh, images are the most efficient way to work with text in Blender, so that's why this tool is so important.